So what happens when we get a model? We want to look at a table and a graph and symbols, just like we've done before. But it's in a model situation. Well, if we're going to look at our table and our graph, we have to have our equations in our calculator. So we come over to our calculator and we put them in. 250 plus 1.15x, 50 plus 0.20x, those are my two equations. And I want to look at the table. Now, I need to think about my table for a second here because it's talking about n is the number of flyers printed. That they're probably going to have a lot of flyers. So I'm going to say, let's go start at like maybe, not, maybe not 4,000. Let's say that it's 1,000. And we can skip every maybe 500. We're going to get in the ballpark right now. We're not going to find exact answers. We're just getting in the ballpark, kind of jumping around quickly. So second graph looks at my table. And I can see that y1, which is t of n, is greater than y2, which is d of n, at 1,000. And the same thing for 1,500, and 2,000, and 2,500, and 3,000, and 3,500. And look here at 4,000, they're actually exactly the same. So I'm going to write that down so that I don't forget that. When x is equal to 4,000, then they are the same. So my, looking at my table, let's go back to 4,000. And since we know that's going to be where they're the same, and we can now go every one. And I'm going to look at my table. And after 4,000, I can see that y1 is just a little bit smaller than y2, 15 cents compared to 20 cents. If I go back the other direction, then it's y1 at 3,999 is just a little bit more. It's 85 cents compared to 80 cents. So we can say that if we had 399 and then 4,000 and then 4,001, we'll make our comparisons here. Then for 399, it was 849.85. And the other one was 849.80. And for 4,000, they were both 850. While I have my red pen, I'll finish out the Y2 column. And then this one was 850 and 20 cents. And for my green one, I had 850, or I guess I changed it to blue now, 850. And for 4,001, it was 850.15. So come up here and it's asking us, when will traditional be cheaper than digital? Or when will T of N be less than D of N? It'll be less when X is greater than 4,000 copies or flyers. Okay? Now let's look at the graph. We know that it's got to be 4,000 um, flyers. So when I go to set my window, so I went 5,000, so it wouldn't be right at 4,000. And I went every 100. Remember, I drop off a 0. And for the Ys, it's 850, so I'm going to go up to 1,000. I know they're the same at 850, so I'm going to go to 1,000 so I can see more. The scale is 100 again, and then I can look at my graph. Okay, now we have to think about this. If this T of N has, this is the Y intercept, remember, so that's 250 compared to 50. So this top one right here, even though I can't label it, T of N, and the bottom one is G of N. Right now, at the beginning of my graph, I see that T of N is greater than D of N, because it's above the D of N graph, which means it's Y's are bigger. But I want to know where they intersect, so I can say that after the intersection point, then my T of n is below my D of n, so they're smaller values. That's when it's cheaper. So what is that intersection point? Just to remember, second trace, and then we choose 5. And then we enter 3 times. And we find out that, sure enough, at 4,000 copies, they both cost $850. So now all we have left to do is look at that symbolically. In symbols, T of n is 250 plus 0.15n, and that's got to be less than d of n, which is 50 plus 0.20n. You know me, I like to move the n's first, so I'm going to subtract. 0.2 is a little bit bigger than 0.15, so I'm going to subtract my 0.15n, 
250 is less than 50 plus 0 0.05. And when I subtract, that's a plus, not a t. Then I'm going to subtract my 50, so that gives me 200 is less than 0 0.05 n. And dividing by n, it's a positive, so I know my inequality stays the same. I have n on this side, and it's going to be 4,000 when I divide by 0 0.05. So again, n is greater than 4,000. Over here where I said x is equal to, that was my table. But really, the question asks for n, so I should fix that. That should be an n. This one says n is greater than 4,000. This says n is greater than 4,000. They're both pointing to the 4,000.